Hovanchina is a very fascinating piece um, in many ways, not only musically but also historically and, and, and of course the text unfortunately could be describing contemporary events. You would just have to change a few names. And... It is about beginnings. So it's a way of Mussorgsky saying, where does this Russia, which is emerging and pulsing in the 19th century, leading up to the Russian Revolution? Where do we come from? Who are we? What is this? And the answer is that we come from violence. We come from blood. We come from the cycle in which very few people visit appalling atrocities on the many. The great mystery of this unfinished opera is the ending, because the libretto was written by him, but only in a certain sense. It was compiled. It's an elaborate collage of hundreds, maybe thousands of fragments of words. And then he poured his music all over these words. Mussorgsky's music affects me very strongly, and I don't quite know what it is. I guess it's the harmonic language. Uh, he has a very particular way to use chords and they must have sounded very radical in the ears of, of his contemporaries. Um, and his harmonic thinking has influenced many other composers. <laughs> Mussorgsky did not orchestrate it himself. There's a Rimsky-Korsakov version which doesn't do Mussorgsky's originality justice. Uh, and then there's a Shostakovich version, which is much better. But if, if you want to use the Stravinsky ending that Jagilev commissioned um, for his per performances in Paris, it needs a bridge because there, there, there's no transition. And my idea when I came to orchestrate these tiny fragments was to do it in a way that modulates between Shostakovich's amazing but very plain, very dark orchestration and the Stravinsky and Ravel, which of course is perfumed and filled with ethereal, otherworldly colors. So what you will be hearing at the Easter festival in Salzburg is, in essence, a world premiere. Mussorgsky is trying to make his own version of what is Russian. And of course, because he's a composer, he's doing that with music. So he is trying to make a kind of music that is only Russian. In the opera, what you have is the juxtaposition of a few powerful people and then a mass of chorus. And the way that Mussorgsky has written for the chorus is incredibly exciting. So the chorus is like a single character. I'm greatly looking forward to be back in Salzburg to do Hovantina with my friend Simon and Gerard McBurney and the Finnish Radio Symphony Orchestra and all these wonderful soloists. Mm -hmm.